Yes. So uh, I hope most of you have already kept this template, uh, edited this and kept this ready. Okay, because this is what we are going to use today. And uh, I want you all to run this campaign along with me. Okay, so I I hope you've joined in from a laptop and uh, or a desktop as well. So that step by step, I'll show you how to make this ad live and uh, then how you can start expecting leads on your WhatsApp number. Okay, so great. So uh, the very first thing that I'm going to do is today I'm going to uh, make this ad live for a preschool. Okay. So let me just quickly. So it's not going to be an actual school, of course. I'm going to uh, create an ad on my own page. Okay. So that uh, I'll be able to show it to you. So first I'll just quickly edit this logo. Okay. So I'll add my logo here. And uh, if you guys haven't done this, you can side by side uh, do this. Okay. So let me first delete this and add my logo here. So uh, how many of you have already, uh, already have this post ready with you? Can you just mention in the chat box or just unmute and tell me? No one is ready with it. Okay, no problem. So anyways, after, okay, Amit uh, Gupta has done great. So I have added my logo here now. Okay, and uh, then there's nothing you have to do unless you are planning not unless you are not planning to give a three weeks of free, uh, free preschool. Okay. Now, uh, before I get into this, let me just explain you what is the strategy behind this uh, ad that we are doing. Okay. First, I'll tell you how this ad is going to work. So when we make this ad live, people in and around two, two and a half, three kilometers, whatever radius we choose, will be able to see our ad. And when they click on the ad, they'll be able to directly start a conversation on your WhatsApp business number, that is your school number. So you don't have to wait for someone to fill up the form or landing page. And then uh, next day you download the leads and then call them. Okay. Here immediately you will get their message on WhatsApp and immediately you can reply or you can either call them back. Okay. So that's the, the kind of ad we are going to uh, publish today. Secondly, why this three uh, weeks of free preschool? Now, uh, today we are in the month of September. Okay. Mid of September. The midterm admissions in some cities it has already started. In some cities, it will start from first week of October. In some uh, places in Bangalore, the actual admissions for midterm will only happen after Vijaya Dashmi, that is by end of October. Okay. But you still get inquiries. Okay. In uh, after 15th of September or after mid of September, again, the midterm period is gradually started. You get inquiries, but then what parents do is they'll come to your school, they'll inquire, they'll check the fees and they don't take the decision right away. They will go back. They will have a discussion or maybe they not, maybe they will hundred percent. They'll visit multiple preschools in your area and then they will choose one. And by end of October, they'll enroll their child in the midterm here when we are offering a free three weeks of trial, the idea is if there's an inquiry today happening and if you are able to tell the parent that start sending your child immediately because we have a trial batch running. Okay. So you are actually not giving time for to the parent to go back and think. Okay. You are actually pushing them to take a decision and when it's free, it is easy to decide. Okay. So you uh, need to tell them that this three weeks will actually, so when I say three weeks, it's actually 15 days, five, five days each week, Saturday, Sunday is off. So you will actually be able to help the child settle down for the first three weeks. Once he is settled, he or she is settled after three weeks is when you can take a decision, whether the child should continue in this preschool or you want them to you want to put him in another school. Okay. 
Now, most of the times, 80% of the times, after the child spends even 10, 12 days in your preschool, he will kind of be settled, okay? Uh, 10, 20% would be settled. He'll get used to the environment. Plus, the parents who are not aware of what exactly is the uh, preschool going to be, how is it going to be, they will have pretty much idea in terms of how the school is going to perform okay what's the curriculum how are the teachers so i think 10 to 12 days is an enough time you uh, to make uh, for the parents to take a decision okay and that's how by 12th between the 12th to 15th uh, day of the free trial that is when you can ask the parent to pay the fees and uh, get the child enrolled okay now uh, when you create any facebook ad okay Compared to just putting up a admit term admissions open banner, okay, with your contact details or with the lead form, it's not going to work. Okay, compared to something like this, wherein we are offering something to the parent, okay, wherein here we are offering a three weeks pre free preschool, okay. So, usually such kind of ads wherein you are offering something, these kind of ads will work the best and they'll for you, the per lead cost would be the lowest. Okay. Like right now we are running these kind of ads in a few preschools that we work with and the per lead cost is as low as 30, 40 rupees. Okay. So when you're spending around uh, say thousand rupees, you are actually able to get around uh, 10 to 15 leads from that thousand rupees. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, I'll, I have added my logo. Okay. And uh, other details I'm keeping as it is. Okay. Because I want to give three weeks of free preschool. So I'll just download this file and I'll keep it ready. Okay. Now I'm going to, for those who have never run Facebook ads for them, this is going to be something very new. But if you have already boosted your ads and done some of the other experiment, I think everyone must be having an ad manager. Okay. So now uh, when you go to, uh, for you to get into and uh, get into your ad manager, if you don't know how, just go to Google. Okay. And just type Facebook ad manager. Okay. And then the very first link that pops up, okay, is where you have to click. Okay. Once you do this, it will, if you are, and yes, whichever machine you are using, whichever laptop desktop you are using, you need to ensure that you are logged in on Facebook from that machine. Okay. Unless it will not directly take you to your ad manager. Okay. So now just click on go to ad manager or start now. Okay. Once you click that, you will be taken to something like this okay so now in your case there would be a drop down like this okay uh, but there would be only one ad manager now we have multiple ad managers because we work with multiple preschools and they have given us the ad manager rights because we run the ads for them okay but in your case it would be only either this could be your school name or it can also be in your personal name Okay, so whichever account you're logged into on Facebook. Okay, so uh, so far is it clear? If uh, just let me know if things are like uh, just going over the head or you are able to get what I'm trying saying. If there is any additional explain explanation you need, then you can let me know. Okay. Uh, I have a question, sir. Yeah, Santosh. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm I'm logged in with my cell phone. I was not thinking that I had to have uh, have this uh, laptop uh, right at the moment. Okay. But, uh, 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 do I get this recording so that I can try it once uh, I'm back home? Yeah, yeah. So the once this session is done, by end of day, I'll be uh, uploading the today's Friday social media masterclass recording on Tag Mango. Okay. You Got can uh, anytime again go back and uh, along with the video, you can do that. Yeah, sure. I, I'm, I'm good then. Thank you. Sir. Okay. So now uh, I have chosen this ad manager, which is mine. 
Okay. Now, before we start making the ad, I'm going to tell you one more thing because those who are using the ad manager for the first time, you might not have uh, amount added to this. Okay. So what you have to do is in this sidebar, there's one option called as billing. Okay. Just go to billing and it will show you if there's any amount there in your ad account or it needs to be added. Okay. So here now uh, I've added some amount in this ad account. If there's no amount, then in your case, it would be zero and it will show as ad funds. Okay. So you can simply click on ad funds. And as I had mentioned in my message, uh, at least 3000 rupees or 3500 rupees is what you need to add so that your ad can go on for a week's time. Okay. So then uh, once you click on ad funds, there would be these multiple options. Okay. You can just mention the amount here. Okay. And either you can attach your debit credit card or there are all these options, even GPay, UPI, everything is there. Okay. So this way first add the amount, because if you haven't added the amount, you won't be able to publish the ad. Okay. So yeah. So now that your ad manager is prepared, let's come back to campaigns. Okay. Now under campaigns, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on create. Okay. So let this load. Yeah. So there's a green button create. So once I click there, it is going to give me multiple options. Okay. As in what kind of ad I want to do. Okay. So there's an awareness ad, there's traffic ad, engagement ad. Okay. Lead generation ad. Okay. Usually we do a lead generation ad. I mean, usually we used to do a lead generation ad wherein, uh, any person seeing an ad and is interested can click on the ad. There's a form which pops up. They fill up that form and then you can download these leads from your Facebook ad manager. Okay. But with WhatsApp's integration, now this has become even more easy. Okay. So instead of a lead generation ad, what we are going to do is we are going to do a engagement ad. Okay. So when you click on engagement, it will show you get more messages. Okay. And then there are, it clearly says good for, so where you get these messages is messenger, Instagram, uh, messenger, as well as WhatsApp. So you can choose if you want to only keep it as WhatsApp. Okay. So I've chosen engagement and then now I'm going to click on continue. Okay. It will ask you whether you want to go as a tailored message or you want to create it manually. So always choose manual. Okay. Because we have to customize this ad. Okay. Then click on continue. So once you click on continue, this is something which is going to open up. Okay. There are three stages of an ad. Okay. So when the stages or steps, you can say, once you're done with all these three steps, then you will be able to publish the ad. Okay. So the very first thing that you have to do is give a name to your ad campaign. Okay. Now in this case, I'm going to do as creative 31 minds preschool free trial. Okay. That's the name I'm going to give. Keep it simple because when you later on, you want to search for that ad it will be very clearly visible or you can even search with the keyword free trial so that in the ad manager, it immediately pops up. Okay. And I'm going to copy this because I need to add it multiple times. So I've copied it. Okay. Once you have given the ad name, just scroll down, just ignore all this stuff. Okay. And set a daily budget. Okay. So now in my case, or even in your case, Usually when you are trying to tap an area of two and a half or three kilometers, okay, the minimum budget uh, can be somewhere between 300 to 500. Okay. So now when I say 500, it is including GST because Facebook is going to charge GST. So if you want to spend only 500, including GST daily budget, you will have to keep it as 425. Okay. 
because when you say 425 it actually is spending 531 rupees per day including the gst amount okay so this way i have informed facebook what is my daily budget okay and then i'm going to click on next okay once i have clicked on next it will take us to the next step okay again here it will ask you for an ad set name okay as you have copied earlier just paste it here keep it as the same name as your campaign name okay unless you are doing multiple ad sets okay where i don't want to get into right now so just keep it keep the ad set name as the same as the campaign name okay now once you have done that scroll down and uh, it will ask you for multiple options to choose as in where you want to initiate the conversation. Okay. So choose the first option itself. Okay. These are all other options wherein if you want to get that uh, some the prospective parent on your website or maybe you want them to download a page or maybe you want them to like your page. Okay. But here we are, we want them to start a chat with us on WhatsApp and that's why we are going to click on this okay get people to engage with your brand or on messenger whatsapp or instagram okay now once you scroll down add type leave it as click to message okay don't click on sponsored message leave it as click to message now here in your case if you are an admin only to one facebook page it will directly show your page here in my case i am going to just choose okay i'll just choose some schools uh, okay so let me uh, one of my client is this aram preschool so i'm going to just uh, run an ad for them okay instead of my page uh, let me just uh, so that even I finish one of my tasks. So I've chosen Aramba preschool. Okay. Now below it will ask you whether you want to choose where you want to get the messages. Okay. Now here it will be face messenger. Facebook messenger is already ticked. Instagram messages also ticked. Now it, this might be there or it might not be there depending on whether your page uh, is connected to your WhatsApp number. Okay. So now, uh, okay. I'll have to do it on some other page because I'm not the admin for this page. Just hold on. Okay, so I'm going to choose Little Millennium New CG Road. Okay, now here you will see that because the WhatsApp business number is already connected to the Facebook page. Okay, in your case, if this is not connected, you will be asked to enter a WhatsApp number here. When you enter that WhatsApp number, it will send you an OTP. Once you enter that OTP, that's how the WhatsApp number would be connected. But yes, if you have a normal WhatsApp, it won't work here. So you have to ensure that you are adding a number which is which you have loaded on WhatsApp business app. So I hope you guys know there are two WhatsApps. One is a regular WhatsApp and another is a WhatsApp business. So if you want to run Facebook ads, you will need to have your school number loaded on a WhatsApp business number. Okay. Uh, right now I'm just going to untick these. Okay. Because I want uh, anyone who is seeing the ad to directly message me on WhatsApp. Okay. Not on Instagram or not on Yahoo messenger as in Facebook messenger. Okay. So I'm going to leave it only as WhatsApp and I'm going to untick this. Okay. Once this is done, Okay, it will ask you like we have first uh, told Facebook that 425 or 500 rupees is our per day budget. Now you have to tell him how long are you going to run this ad. Okay, so start date would be mentioned here. That would be today's. 
Now, just make sure that the timing is something which you are uh, putting it as one or two hours later. Okay, so right now it's 426. I'm going to make it as 626. So after two hours, the ad will be live. Okay, and then I'm also going to set an end date, which is after seven days. So if my ad is going live today, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, my ad should get over on 22nd of September because we have, uh, suppose if we are doing an ad campaign for seven days, uh, seven into 500, 3,500 rupees is what the budget should be. Okay. Now, uh, once this is done, the most important fo uh, factor of any ad, okay, is choosing the right location. Okay. Here, when you click on edit, okay, you will actually have to hunt for your location. Okay. Now, in some cases, when you type, if you are perfectly listed on Google business, when you simply type here, so I'm going to just check Little Millennium New CG Road. Okay, let me see. So it's showing me, uh, okay. Now it is showing me as New CG Road Place. Okay, so let's click there. Now, uh, why I'm choosing New CG Road is because this particular school that I am running the ad for is Little Millennium New CG Road, which is in New uh, Ahmedabad. Okay. Now I search for New CG Road and it has taken me, it has shown me up, it has pinpointed. Okay. And uh, this is more or less the same uh, location. Okay. Where I want my ad to start. In your case, if the location is not picked properly, you will get irrelevant leads. Okay, so make sure you are choosing, you are searching. This might take time because you have to zoom in, zoom out and just scroll it and just look out for the exact location. But once you get this location, I'll tell you how you have to pinpoint it. So just suppose, for example, if you have zoomed and finally, if you are okay, that okay, this is my school, then just click on drop pin. Okay, and just put a drop here. Okay. Whenever you create any drop pin, it is by default showing you a 10 miles radius. You have to reduce it to one or two miles. Okay. So when you choose one mile, it is basically taking one and a half kilometer of radius. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to pick up, keep it as two. Okay. But I don't want this. So I'm just going to stick to new CG road as the place. Make it two kilometers as in two miles. Okay. So this means that the ad that I'm doing is going to be shown to all the people as of now, it's going to show be shown to all the people in this area. Okay. Not all. It depends on how much budget you have. If I'm choosing 500 rupees as my budget out of say five lakh people in the area, four lakh, uh, only say, uh, 2 lakh people would see my ad. Okay. Or maybe in thousands. If I increase my budget, there are chances that many people see my ad. Okay. So we are done with this location mapping. Then I'm going to choose the age criteria. Okay. So now I want people staying in this area to see my ad, but not everyone. I want that only people between the age group of 24 to say 35 are going to see my ad or should see my ad. Okay. Because most of the parents uh, for who have children between the age group of two years to four years or five years, ideal age group of the parents is somewhere between 25 to 35. Okay. Once this is done, you can choose genders. Okay. Ideally now, whenever I run an ad, I usually choose women. Okay. Because I have many a time seen when we keep all, all the relevant leads, which are coming up are from the mothers. Okay. Most of the times the men, when they inquire, they actually don't pick up or they are busy somewhere. So it's better you pick up, uh, choose women here. Okay. And, uh, yes. Again, a very important factor, which is you have to choose interest levels or behaviors. Okay. So I'll give you an example. You have to think 
from the point of view of a parent. Okay, so if I am a parent of a two-year-old, what is it that I would search? Okay, so for example, I would, if I'm looking for a preschool, I would search for preschool. Okay, so once you type preschool here, it will give you multiple options. Okay, so then uh, whichever are come under the L category of interest is what you have to choose. Okay, so once you choose this, okay, and then if you just ask for suggestions, it will give all the suggestions or uh, interest levels related to the preschool keyword. Okay, so I'm going to choose kindergarten. I'm going to choose say early childhood. Then I'm going to choose uh, not pre-primary. Again, kindergarten is something which I'm going to choose. Now there's another demography which is it is showing which says parent with preschoolers zero to five years. Okay, so that's exactly what I want. I'm going to choose that. Okay, so this way select at least 15 to 20. See again, it is showing parents with toddlers between zero, uh, between one to two years. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to choose that. Then uh, if you want, if you have some toddler programs, you can also choose parents up to 12 months. Okay. Then I'm going to choose uh, childcare that is children and parenting. Okay. So let me quickly choose a few of the, so pre-kindergarten is again what I'm uh, going to choose. Daycare is something which parents might be looking for. So I'm going to choose as daycare. Then uh, infant. Okay. So you'll it will keep on giving you suggestions, but make sure you're not picking up too many. Okay. Around 10 to 15 or max 20 interest levels is what you can choose. Okay. So I'm just quickly selecting a few. Okay. Once you've done that, once you've selected around 15, 20 interest levels just go to go below and save your audience okay don't forget to save so i'm gonna just give a name as little millennium lm new cg road paid ad okay so what happens is next time whenever i'm running an ad for the same school i don't have to do all this i just have to pick up from the saved ads uh, saved audience okay so now my audience is saved okay and it will give you a glimpse of what all you had chosen okay so interest preschool pre-kindergarten kindergarten early childcare all these interest levels are shown here and other details you will be able to see here okay now we've done with the area selection we have also done with the budget day number of days of ad now the final part which is the third step so let's click next. Now, again, it's asking us for the name. So again, the ad name, keep it as what you've kept as the campaign name and as the ad set name. Okay. Now, once you choose that, it will ask you to identify. So it would have, uh, it will show you your page here, your school page. And if in case your school page is connected with your school Instagram, it will show here. Otherwise, you'll have to get it connected. So you have to click connect and you have to log in. Okay. Right now, the Instagram page is already connected. So it is directly showing as the Instagram page. Okay. Now, when you go down, here is where you'll be actually using the creative that we have created. Okay. So let's choose uh, because we are going to have a single ad with a single image. I'm going to keep it as single image. Okay. And if you scroll down here, there's a uh, heading called as ad creative. Okay. So the advertisement creative, that is whatever you're going to show has to be added here. So let me click on add media. Okay. I'm going to click on add image. Okay. Now, because I'm running the ad for new CG road, uh, I'm going to choose the cre same creative that we have created for new CG road. Okay. So I, let me just search for it. So there are too many artworks that we've been creating since last few weeks. So just give me two minutes. I'll have to search for it. Okay. So now little millennium. Yeah. Okay. So I selected the artwork. Okay. In your case, you need to choose the one that you've edited through my template. 
Okay, so now this is selected. I'm going to click on next. Okay, all these things you can simply click next. Okay, uh, actually, I'm not, I did not talk about the Instagram story ad. Okay, it is actually comes in a different size, but when we are creating a square uh, image of the ad, it is actually seen. Uh, on Instagram in the right way. Okay. So that's why I did not, I did not want to confuse you with multiple ad sizes and creatives. Okay. So just click on done. Okay. Now you've added the image and here you, you are actually able to see a slight preview of your ad. Okay. So right now what it is saying is our ad is shown. It says chat with us and it's uh, remember now why I had done this message here with a small arrow because the WhatsApp button is shown just exactly at this bottom right corner. Okay. So we'll change this. Okay. So now once you've added the image, okay, scroll down and you will have to add primary text here. Okay. Now, Quickly, I'm going to generate the WhatsApp, uh, the ad content through chat GPT. Okay. So uh, let's go to chat GPT. Okay. Uh, recently, I've purchased the chat GPT 4. Okay. Because it's very useful. But you can always do it. Chat GPT 3.5, which is the free version. It's more than enough. Okay. I've purchased this just because I wanted to try a few more plugins. Okay. So now I'm going to just ask chat GPT, uh, for those who don't know chat GPT, uh, just Google it out and, uh, just go to chat.openai.com and sign up. It's free and it's wonderful. Okay. Those who haven't used this should immediately use this. And in fact, if you've seen my, uh, video recordings of the Sunday workshops, I have actually shown how you can create social media post content using chat GPT. Okay. So if you haven't just, uh, go to my YouTube channel and watch those videos coming back to our ad, I'm going to ask chat GPT. Okay. So just carefully see the kind of prompt I'm giving. Okay. I'm going to tell chat GPT first. Let's say, hi, hi chat GPT. I, so, so we are going to tell him that act like a social media ad creator and write ad content for my Facebook ad for my preschool. Okay, so ad content for a Facebook ad for my preschool to promote free trial of three weeks at my preschool before the midterm admissions begin. Okay. And just, I'll just read out this prompt. Hi, chat GPT act like a social media ad creator and write ad content for a Facebook ad for my preschool to promote free trial for of three weeks at my preschool before the midterm admissions begin. Okay. Very clearly I've given this. I'm going to give one more prompt. Okay. I'm going to say that please write description. So uh, let me say brief description. And or sub headline. Okay. Now I'm going to just click on enter and you will see chat GPT is actually writing the ad content for us. Okay. So it has a given an option. It says, don't miss out on an amazing offer experience three weeks of free, uh, preschool magic for free. Are you ready for a remarkable preschool adventure? We've, we are excited to offer, see the kind of ad content that is written. I think I wouldn't have been able to do this kind of a stuff, right? So this is where chat, you should take help of a tool like chat GPT, which is absolutely free. Okay. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy paste this whole thing. Okay. It's just that before you actually use it and uh, start, I mean, publish the ad, just make sure you are reading the whole thing. Okay. Because in some cases it shows as preschool name. Okay. So I'll show you how that can be edited. So I've copied this content and I'm going back to my ad manager. Okay. The brief content. Okay. This whole brief content is, I'm going to put it in the primary text. Okay. So there are three texts of the ad. One is primary text. Then one is the headline and one is a description. Okay. So the primary text is what I'm going to keep it as the whole thing. Don't miss out on this. And here I'm going to just, instead of don't miss the chance to discover the joy of learning at, I'm going to make it as little millennium school new CG road. Okay. And it, then it says enroll now for a bright future. Okay. So our ad content goes here. Then it will ask me to just scroll down. This is basically, it's asking you, it is suggesting you some different content. Okay. But I don't need that. So once you've added the primary text, then go to the headline. So I think uh, the headline, what this has, it is right now, which says chat with us. I'm going to keep it as it is because I want parents to click on the ad and immediately initiate the chat with my school number. Okay. Now under description, what you can do is again, go to chat GPT and just pick up one uh, call to action or one liner from this. So I'm going to choose as uh, experience three weeks of pre free preschool. Okay. I'll just change it a bit. So description I'm mentioning as experience three weeks of free preschool. Okay. Now, once this is there, you can actually see a preview of your ad, how your ad is going to look like. Okay. Click on this advanced preview only once you have added the primary text headline and the description. Okay. So I'm going to click now just to see how my ad looks. So it will show you multiple previews. So on Facebook, my ad is going to look like this. Okay. So there will be a headline. This would be the artwork. Below it will say as chat with us. It's showing a WhatsApp icon. And we are saying experience three weeks off. So in uh, the preview, it is not visible. But when the actual ad is seen, this the content would be visible. Okay. In my Instagram, in my profile feed, marketplace, then in Facebook video feeds. So video feeds are basically when you watch any, you are watching any video and suddenly you see an ad. So that's how these ads will be shown. Okay. Not necessarily all previews would be the way you want it. Okay. But even if the previews of your Facebook and Instagram are perfect, there's no need to change. Okay. So this is the preview. I think uh, the preview is good to go. Okay. Then before you click the publish button, just make sure that you, the call to action chosen here is send WhatsApp message. Okay. There's a list of, so by default, it would be send WhatsApp message as the call to action button, but still to be safe side, just have a quick check whether it is the same. Okay. Just ignore these message templates as of now, because, uh, I don't want you to be too much burdened with so many multiple things. I'm sure most few things would have just bounced. Okay. But don't worry. That's the reason I'm recording this and I'll be putting up the session by end of day today. So you can actually play the video and side by side, step by step. You can actually make the ad live. Okay. Now I'm going to click on publish. So all three steps are done. Okay. I've chosen the ad. I've chosen the audience. I've mapped my location, everything. Okay. Yes, Kunal, I'll share the prompt. I just saw your message. I'll share the prompt. I'll share it on the group. So uh, everything is done. Okay. We have even seen the preview. Now I'm going to click on publish. Okay. So once I click on publish, okay, it will take some time, okay, to publish. Okay. 
once this okay so it's shown me one campaign one ad set and one ad were published okay now when it is published it doesn't mean your ad is live immediately it will be first sent to facebook uh, review wherein facebook will check whether the ad is as per the ad policy the, there's not too much of content there's no spamming words all that once it is checked within an hour your ad will be live okay so till then it will be shown as processing okay now once you get this pop up you can close this okay and then you can go to campaigns and you will be able to see the status of your ad okay now what's going to happen is once the status of processing is changed to live or active oh, sorry not live it will be shown as active you will even receive a notification on facebook that the ad is live okay once that is done you will actually start getting messages on your whatsapp number okay and uh, peep, the message would usually it is sent as i saw your ad so this is a basic by default text that is sent by uh, facebook in any ad uh, for all whatsapp ads so it will show the ad that you had created it will show a preview and it will say that i saw your ad on facebook okay or something like that so any kind of messages coming to your school whatsapp like that you have to immediately act on it either you call them or have a conversation with them on the chat or whatever that that's actually a lead for you you can also transfer it to your center head and ask her to follow but yes uh, let this ad run for at least 7 days there are chances that on the first on the very first day your 500 rupees is spent but hardly there's one or two messages that you've seen okay or sometimes even no messages in the first two days relax just let the ad grow okay now usually what happens is on the very first day if i've seen seeing an ad i might might not be clicking on it because i might be busy or i might be doing something else another second day or by evening again when i see that ad still i don't click but maybe third time i i'm sitting somewhere without any work and i see that ad i that is the time where i'll click that okay so don't be disappointed if your ad is not working it's not giving you leads in the first one or two days have patience okay be rest assured that whatever this amount of 3000 or 3500 that you are putting in that's going to be recovered even if you are able to convert one midterm admission okay so don't think of this 3500 as a marketing expense think of it as your investment okay because investments are done so that you get returns okay expenses are not considered where you get returns okay so this is something which you are doing only so that you get some good returns so call it as an investment and not as a marketing expense